Hello there. The deeper we get into the so-called Brexit negotiations, the more apparent it becomes that the EU has got much too used to dictating to others. It appears on the surface that the EU and UK negotiators have come to a stalemate over the Brexit talks. The EU side still wants a three-part phased approach to the talks, which the UK Brexit Secretary David Davis rejects. The EU wants to impose an eye-watering bill on the UK of up to some £90 billion, maintain ECJ jurisdiction over us and settle the Irish border situation before talking about anything else. The EU chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, did at least admit that talks over the Irish border question had been fruitful. The UK, for its part, says it has been quite happy to talk and has charged the EU team with a failure to be imaginative and engage in meaningful negotiation. I don't think there's anything to worry about unduly, though. All negotiations, even those over house and car purchases, very frequently get to this point, with both parties waiting to see who will blink first. But the EU response to our rebuttal yesterday of their claim that we owe them billions just sums up the situation for me. According to reports, the EU side was flabbergasted that we presented to them a three-hour, 23-slide presentation of an 11-page document which included 47 paragraphs deconstructing their huge financial claim line by line. One EU source is quoted as saying, There was total amazement. Everyone was completely flabbergasted that this young man from Whitehall was saying that the EU's preparation on the financial settlement was inadequate. It did not go down well. And this comes after the EU negotiators had previously said they didn't know what the UK position was. Well, they asked for it, and now they know. And they're somehow upset at the contents. For his part, David Davis needs the EU to prove its claim. We have repeated time and time again we are a country which meets our international obligations, but they have to be specified. They don't even have to be legal. We also recognise moral obligations, but they need to be specific. I don't think the British taxpayer would expect anything less, he said. Why should the UK just open its checkbook to what could be an unfounded claim? Would you? Even die-hard Remainers should acknowledge that point, surely. The fact that the EU looks down on us like this for having the impudence to answer back should open the eyes of all but the most hardened on the pro-EU side to the true, overbearing nature of the EU. It shows that the bloc has a sort of we demand, you give attitude to dealing with what it sees as its vassal member nation states. You can almost picture the EU view of Barnier the Beadle looking down at a little Oliver-like David Davis shouting, More? And you only have to take a quick look round the EU to see how not only does it not look after individual nation states and their people, it doesn't care. It amazes me that we have been so tolerant to live under this regime for so long, and I care not that their flabbers were gasted at all. What do you think? Please leave a comment below. Thank you. Please do like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.